The 14th element on the periodic table is silicon. This is Norris Teaches Science with another Physical Science Edition video with me, Mr. Norris. Today we're going to talk about the periodic families. So in this video, your goal is to say that I can describe the structure of the atom and components are calculated. We're also trying to figure out where the um, families are. Now, before we begin, you want a blank periodic table, not the one we've been labeling for this one because we're going to be coloring up here. You also are going to need a good amount of colors. I want to say nine. You'll want nine different colors so that you can color the different families. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the alkali metals. This is group one, Roman numeral 1A on the periodic table. The alkali metals have one valence electrons, and their reactivity increases from top to bottom. One of the elements in, these, in this family is known as francium, is the most reactive metal. Francium is Fr down here. You also have stuff like um, sodium and potassium and lithium in it as well. So on your periodic table, do a little line with whatever color you're having. Call it the alkali metals. And your alkali metals are right here. All right, make sure you color them in. Make sure you are got them all red, all colored in. Make sure you can still see what the symbols are. But those are your alkali metals. The next um, family is the alkaline earth metals. This is group 2A. That means that they have two valence electrons. So one element in here that's kind of important is calcium or Ca. This is in your bones, your teeth, um, in seashells, stuff like that. So get it second color i won't be having to be i will not be changing the color i use anymore after this one i have a limited number of colors to use and it's just not enough um but you should be using different colors so do a little key with that color call it the alkaline earth metals your alkaline earth metals are b e m g c a s r b a and r a and those are your alkaline earth metals Pause the video whenever you need to so that you can make sure you color and not miss anything. The next group is known as the transitional metals. I am going to try to switch colors, but it won't happen all the time. Um, this is the middle of the periodic table. Um, we call it group 3B through 12B. Their oxidation numbers and valence electron numbers vary dirt in this group. They're usually brightly colored, and these all like to combine with oxygen. So get your color. You want a good color here because you're going to do your little key, call it transitional metals, and we have to color a lot here. All of these, 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 all of these. Just coloring it in, all the ones at the bottom down here. They're all your transitional metals. All right, so pause the video real quick, color those, but I'm continuing on. The next family we're going to talk about is the boron family. No, I call it the moron family because I can remember it. It's group 3A. They have three valence electrons. Uh, one element in here that's really good to know about is Al or aluminum, the most abundant metal in Earth's crust. So get your next color, do your little dash, label it boron family. Your boron family is B, A, L, G, A, I, N, and T, L. I think that was L. That's your boron family. All right, continuing on, the next family we're going to talk about is the carbon family. The carbon family is 4A. It has four valence electrons. It's also that plus or minus four oxidation number family. And carbon is one important element in here. Carbon is the element of life. 
when you get into say physical into biology you will start learning about organic compounds and you will be messing with carbon with that or if you end up taking organic chemistry you'll mess with carbon in that so get your color do your little highlight do your little key call it the carbon family and then carbon family is c s i g e s n p b do not do this one down here because you may not have it these are the ones that are now being discovered and being named and my periodic table is a little outdated down here because there are some new names of some elements down here but this is the carbon family next is the nitrogen family all right the nitrogen family is group 5a and they have five valence electrons uh, one major thing nitrogen is 78 percent of the air um, of the atmosphere if you take an earth science but now you should remember that it's a main component of fertilizers fertilizers so nitrogen family your little highlight can you guess where the nitrogen family is well it's right here where it says nitrogen and it's everything below it nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony and bismuth that's your nitrogen family again pause when you need to so you can finish coloring your periodic table if need be the oxygen family right the oxygen family is group 6a and it has six valence electrons oxygen is the most abundant element on earth's crust you also have some other ones like sulfur. Uh, neat trick, if you have solid sulfur and you hold it in your hand near your ear, you can hear it crackle as it expands from the heat of your hand. All right, oxygen family, do a little hot color key, call it the oxygen family. We start with oxygen, then we have sulfur, selenium, terillium, and polonium. That is your oxygen family. Again, pause when need to so you can finish coloring. The next family is called the halogen family. All right, the halogen family is group 7A, or they have seven valence electrons. We call them the salt formers because they like to combine with the first group, the alkali metals, and form salts like NaCl, sodium, and chlorine sodium chloride they're very reactive with metals and fluorine fluorine is the most reactive non-metal uh, in the pictures here you have fluorite which is fluorine in a crystal form and in this um, glass jar here this is actually chlorine and chlorine gas can actually kill you now we're going to color the halogen family you're going to use a different color hopefully you've been changing your colors and haven't used the same color over and over yet we have this little key part called the halogen family it's fluorine it's chlorine it's bromine it's iodine and it's asinine if you remember we're using families and families are columns on the periodic table pause if you need to but we're going to do our last family now so the last family i'm going to get is called the noble gases it's group 3A and they have eight valence electrons, which means that they're stable, they're non-reactive. Remember, stable equals eight valence electrons. We also call these inert gases and all of their energy levels or shells are full. So using your last color, do a little dash, call it the noble gases. Your noble gases are helium, neon, argon, Krypton, Xenon, and Radon. Now, you should notice that there's one element that is not colored in. That is hydrogen. Hydrogen. Hydrogen doesn't belong to any family. It is by itself. It does have one valence electron, but it's not a metal, so it can't be an alkali metal. So hydrogen is all by itself, and it will not be colored. But I hope you learned something today about the different families on the periodic table. Go out, learn more about each of these elements, and I'm Mr. Norris, and I am signing out for this video.